What up YouTube? So today is going to be part two of the Acura Integra K24 K20. Today we're going to start stripping everything down so we can get this thing painted up. And uh, so we got to get this mount bracket up out of here. And uh, we got to get all the fuel, fuse box, brake booster, everything. It's going to be a lot of things getting done to this car. So we're going to be doing electronic power steering. We're going to be doing electronic AC on here. And um, for the setup, we'll be showing you the motor. I don't know if it's going to be on this video, maybe the next video. But if we do extend on this video, we'll show you the block and everything. It's a CSS block. Um, I probably should have showed it on the first video. I'm not sure. It's been a while since we've been working on this car. But uh, yeah, we're going to strip everything down so we can get everything cleaned up, mocked up, and uh, painted. We got a brake uh, kit delete on here as well. So we're going to be... Uh, doing a lot a lot of different stuff on here uh that i normally do but uh this car is pretty much going fully done maybe turbo kit later as well so uh before we do all that we're gonna just start with the basics so we're gonna knock everything out and then uh we'll come back and see what we're gonna do after that all right guys so we're back now and we got pretty much all the little things that we needed to be um taken off we're still gonna finish taking off the lines but we're gonna wait till we get to pretty much spraying the bay down because um, it's pretty hard to breed lead brakes um, when you're doing like a full tuck and everything so just to make sure that this fluid flowing and everything we'll end up doing that later most likely after the paint so we'll just pull the lines back but um, other than that we're just gonna clean it all up right now and get it ready but uh want to go to the motor we got that on the engine stand so this is the CSS block and it's already pretty much assembled as far as the bottom end. Um, so right now, we're gonna go get a couple things uh, to start getting this done. We're gonna get some ARP head studs, the Comedic head gasket, and then uh, we'll slap the head on. And then uh, we got Type S oil pump kit, and uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, here's the head over here, actually. So. Uh, We'll be going off of their instructions, but I mean, I'm pretty sure I already know how to uh, install this and everything. But yeah, this is the head. So we'll probably get at least the timing and everything done on this video. And then we'll probably end it after that. So I'm going to get the rest of the parts right now. And then uh, we'll start the head assembly. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right. So I'm going to show you guys some of the parts that we got. That we're going to be putting on here. So... Went with all jack cartel parts. So we got our chain guides, our chain, timing chain. Uh, we got the lower guard, and we actually have the sprocket and the extension. So this helps really because on the, everybody knows if you don't, there's a little nipple on the back of this that just holds this together. And I mean, when you're going for a horsepower, pretty much that's one the only thing that can hold you back and mess up your head or. Uh, you know mess up timing pretty much so this is a safety right here both of these are really good for safety for k-series if the tensioner ever decides to go out so we got the inline pro jack cartel tensioner the lower guide and then we got our grease for pretty much building the engine and stuff and uh we have a four piston uh type s oil pump as well so um, we'll install it, but we're actually missing the uh, lower timing chain. So um, we'll install whatever we can right now and to get it going. But most likely we'll probably just get the ARP studs right now and head gasket. I got to take apart the head right now and then we'll have that together and then we'll come back and see what we're going to do next. All right, we're back. We got the ARP studs installed. We got our fully built head pretty much on here. We got super tech valve springs. And uh, this head is actually built by uh, Dela Cruz Motorsports. So this is one of their heads they done. And um, pretty much right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the cams installed and the uh, roller rocker assembly and everything, valve train, and uh, get those torqued down. We got uh, pretty much everything torqued to spec on the studs. So um, we'll do the cams and then We'll go ahead and show you guys the little oil squirt you gotta take out. You got a block on here to run the oil pump. Um, like I said, we'll install as much as we can, but we can't actually do the timing until we get the oil uh, pump chain. So 
um we got that and pretty much that'll be it for this video so i'm gonna go ahead and knock that out and we'll come back and then uh see what else we're gonna do all right so we got our cams on now everything's all tightened up uh right now we're gonna flip the motor over and uh show you guys well i'll show you the orifice that needs to come out so it'll be this one right here we're gonna pop that off and block it and then uh probably install the uh, the pan right here get some of this stuff installed just so i can have it ready when we get the chain guide and then uh we'll install the oil pump and i think that'll probably be it for now we got the other guide we'll be installing too as well so we'll get that going and then uh that'll probably be it for this video all right guys so we're back um i did end up finding the parts that we did need so um this is pretty much the full drag cartel time and chain kit with the safety guard and everything um the four piston uh oil pump is installed right now with the baffle so yeah, so when you're doing timing, pretty much you got your bottom one right here, which is going to have a little slit in it as well. Timed up up top, center, the two gold, got to go between it and the dots right there. And uh, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I got to go get some Honda Bonds so we can seal everything up. Uh, but yeah, that's the motor's pretty much ready to go. And... Uh, all we gotta do is pretty much get the clutch flywheel transmission and then uh, finish it up the bay, which we'll be doing next video. We'll get it all painted up and uh, then we'll be dropping the motor in real soon, doing the five speed conversion kit with the pedals and everything. So stay tuned guys. If you haven't, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next video.